Hey everybody, yeah it's Thursday evening, uh, Thursday afternoon actually about a little before 4 o'clock, beautiful day today, it's it's in the 60s, pushing 70, I think the last I saw was like 68, I'm going to do a beer today that, um, that I've had before, it's been a long time, I've never reviewed it, it's another one of the new Belgian beers, I'm going to do their triple, it says ale brewed with coriander. I remember this being pretty decent, but like I said, it's been two or three years, a good while, so. Anyway, a little bit from the website, it says our, our triple Belgian style ale, pronounced triple, opens with bold blast of hops that slowly gives way to the fruity esters implied by our Belgian yeast strain. In the Belgian tradition of brewing singles, doubles, and triples, triple is the strongest with the longest fermentation. Remarkably smooth and complex. Our bottle condition triple is spiced with a trace of coriander. Comes in at 7.8% ABV, 35 IBUs. So let me get this in the glass and uh, see what we got. See if it's as decent as I remember it. Like I said, it's about, I think the last I saw was 68. It's again, it's a bit breezy today, but ha! Huh. There we go. Really nice day. So. Perfect day to be out in the park. They've closed the gates. I had to walk in. So this is a table fairly close to the gates. I didn't want to walk too far, so. Let me get this in the tulip glass here, and yeah, I'm not gonna get quite everything in there, but they say bottle condition. That looks fairly clear. Bunch of carbonation streaming up. Not a nice semi-cloudy gold color. A uh, finger of a really frothy uh, white head. Uh, good looking for a, good looking for a triple. Just a bunch of uh, bunch of carbonation streaming up again from the center of the the glass. I'm you know I've never looked at these. I wonder if they've got etching in the bottom because it always seems to. I don't know if you can see that. It always seems to rise right from the center. But anyway, let me get a nose on this. Okay, you got that a light crisp uh, almost biscuity taste biscuit aroma there bit of lemon and spice um, almost um, slight honey note um, little herbs you're definitely getting that coriander that uh, they said it's brewed with that's the only one they mentioned just a hint of clove and cinnamon maybe maybe just a even a touch of banana most of those uh, Belgian Belgian yeast uh, Belgian yeast aromas, that's for sure. Um, so, let me get a taste. Yeah, it's real similar to the smell. You're getting, you're getting that yeasty biscuit, uh, bis biscuit taste, a little lemon, a little spice, definitely getting that coriander. Getting a nice, um, rich malt flavor, though, too. Um, There's some cloves, possibly nutmeg, a little fresh wheat. It's almost like a, almost got a, like a, almost like a saison, uh, saison uh, flavor to it. A um, little candy sugar. I am getting a, just a bit of, um, bit of aftertaste. Um, it's kind of a sweet, sour mix right there on the aftertaste. Uh, alcohol is a little noticeable on the, uh, in the taste. Um. It's light though, it's really nice dry and light mouthfeel, really nice dry on the finish. It's a little oily, but definitely got some carbonation there. Um, light body, but, or light mouth mouthfeel anyway. I think it's a little heavier towards medium body, but it's a light mouthfeel with the carbonation because there's still a bunch of, a uh, bunch of carbonation, uh, spreading up so um, so far so good it's pretty decent fairly decent uh, taste and triple so let me sit for a while sit on sit and sip on this and be back after a while with the final thoughts and grape uh, okay I'm back it's it's been 20 minutes or so uh, right after I turned the camera off since it's bottle condition I swirled up the last of it poured it in it's definitely a lot cloudier now not nearly as almost crystal clear as it was before looking more like a bottle condition triple there um, 
uh, as it's warmed up a little bit, I've noticed that uh, that banana, slight banana odor has uh, come out a little bit more on the aroma, more towards the front. But you're still getting that uh, that almost biscuity uh, biscuity aroma there. You're still getting your lemons, your coriander, maybe a little cinnamon in there too that I didn't really notice before. There's some kind of sweet fruit in there, maybe. I'm not sure what it is, like persimmon or something like that. Some, some odd sweet fruit in there too. That's got a really nice, really nice aroma and blends blends well with everything in here. Um, the taste. Uh, a little bit, a little bit more of the banana on the taste, but still not as much as on, as it's come out on the aroma. But this is a decent. American take on a, on a on a Belgian triple. It's like it's not in the class of uh, you know any of the, the the Trappist beers or anything like that for sure. But uh, it's decent. It's leaving some leaving some nice. Uh, the head regenerates fairly easily, and it's uh, leaving some nice uh, nice uh, lacing down the glass. A little bit of alcohol legs is is what little bit it's warmed up in this. 60 some degree weather. Um, I'm not noticing the alcohol quite so much. Um, this is a decent triple. It's not nothing special. Um, it might be a good starter triple for somebody uh, if you want to get them introduced to the style. Um, but you know, if if you really like good Belgian triples, um, you could pa you could pass it by. But it's still a decent decent drinkable beer, worth a try. That's for sure. I could probably pound down. Four or five of these, especially in hot weather, which of course this isn't, but uh, I could probably pound down four or five of these with no problem. Um, it's worth a shot. I'm going to give the uh, New Belgium Triple Ale Brewed with Coriander. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's a decent, decent, uh, decent take on a triple. Like I said, nothing special, but uh, you know, it's not bad either. So. Till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beer. This time tomorrow night, I'm going to be taste, heading to my beer pairing slash, or beer tasting slash food pairing uh, thing. So hopefully, I, like I said, I can get that up Saturday. So till next time, everybody.